and calls to reduce gun violence growing even louder following the recent shootings here at home as well as across the country. WGN's Julian Cruz is live in Woodlawn with more on the effort at the state and national level. Julian? Dean of Public Opinion polls showing overwhelming support for gun control measures such as trying to keep guns and ammunition out of the hands of the mentally unstable. Community leaders and legislators say that for a variety of reasons, now is the time for action. Over 80 percent of the homicides that take place in our communities are black people. It is time for us to stand up and do what we have to do. The Reverend Sierra Bates Chamberlain says it's a public health epidemic that can no longer be ignored with the unceasing flow of guns to Chicago resulting in bloodshed and shattered lives. 90 percent agree. We should do everything in our power to keep firearms out of the hands of convicted felons and people who are mentally unstable. U.S. Senator Dick Durbin on the south side of Chicago with a group of Illinois legislators in both Washington and Springfield, lawmakers looking to close gaps when it comes to background checks. It ensures that we do background checks. It ensures that we obtain fingerprints. It ensures that we're giving the Illinois State Police the ability to take the guns of folks that shouldn't have them. With the Democratic President Joe Biden in the White House, the push for so-called common sense gun laws gaining new momentum. The recent spike in high profile shootings in Atlanta and Colorado and the tragic day to day violence we see most every day here in Chicago, prompting Durbin to introduce a bill that mandates tighter controls when it comes to out of state gun show purchases. Why is that important to Chicago? Because the number one supplier of states outside of our own of crime guns is Indiana with its gun shows and no background checks. Illinois legislators say that they support adequate funding for state police. Those who have studied the issue say that Illinois state police don't have the resources necessary to conduct background checks and firearms owners identification cards or FOID card applications. The legislators say the state police need to have the tools to be able to do their job. On the south side, Julian Cruz, WGN News.